Hi, this is Kate from Isalicious Designs. Today I thought I'd show you how to make my little tiny heart charm. As you can see, it's a standalone little heart. You can pop them on the uh, back of a little clip, a barrette for the hair, like so. You can pop them on paper clips. I've got a large paper clip here, which um, works well as a bookmark or um, you know just to pretty up papers and stuff. So yeah, it's quite quite small, little bit fiddly to make, but um, let's let's uh, do this together, shall we? So um, what we're going to start with is a single loom, and I'm just going to make sure we're in focus. We're going to turn it round so that the open part of the peg is facing away from us and we're going to make it so that columns one and three are higher than column two in the middle just by a little bit okay I'm going to use red bands just because that's what I happen to have handy right here by me and we're going to start by counting down one two three and four pegs and placing two red bands up to the third peg and two red bands on top of that to the second peg and two red bands on top of that like this so you have three pair I should say we're double banding so you've got two bands and you're placing them at the same time we're going to go from the middle peg here this this third peg one two three up to the second peg and again on the other side mirror image it like that and then we're going to put two bands here and two bands here push everything down we're going to do two bands from the first peg to the first peg and two bands from the first peg to the first peg now we're going to take a single band and wrap it round a hook once and twice do that again once and twice and that's going to pop here in the middle on this middle first peg all right. Now on these two first pegs, we're going to take a single band and wrap it once, twice, and three times. It's a bit tight, but we need it to be. You're going to place those. Oh, of course, mine comes off my hook. That's handy. There we go. Let's try that again. You're going to place those as best you can on here. Sometimes you need to sort of just get over one of the edges. One, two, three. You get one bit over the edge and then you can get the rest around okay now the fiddle factor is going to come soon we're going to turn this around and what we're going to do is dig down here past that center end cap and grab the top two red bands and loop them to their corresponding side which in my case was to the right do the same for the left and then these ones, what you have to do is go past that tight end cap to so pass all of those bands to find those two bottom bands and loop down. It can be a bit tricky. All the way to the bottom, find those two bottom bands and loop down. Now, here we have our fun and games. This is how we make our magic ring in crochet. I'm turning my loom around again and I'm going to use five bands for each side. Okay. So there's five there, one, two, three, four, and five. Five for this side, five for this side. I'm going to take my first band. I'm going to push my hook down past all of those bands. Okay? Take a single band, draw it back up, reclaim it onto my hook, and take the bit closest to me up and over as if I was doing a slip knot. I'm going to try and budge that around the peg. It's tight, I know, because we've got a very tight end cap there. Keeping this little loop on my hook, I'm going to go back down past all those bands and grab my second band and pull that through. Now you want to be careful that you don't pull it through that first loop that's still on your hook. Reclaim and you're going to take the first end of that band not the little not the little loop that's already on your hook the band that we just put through one over the other so you've got two little slip knots if you have a look two little slip knots on your hook and you're going to take the one closest to you up and over so you've joined them together budget round 
push your hook back through and grab the third band and pull it up and again you're going to take this side up and over and then join them now if you if you haven't got room to budge it around here you can come through the front bit just here because that's all part of it so you can come down here for the fourth band one over the other and join them together and come back through for our last band this side our fifth band let's be careful that I don't add it to my loop that's already on my hook there we go and one over the other and join them together and then this little loop that we have left on our hook we're going to pop on that middle peg we'll do the other side push your hook through grab your first band pull it through reclaim one over the other and budge it around that peg a bit back down this is just like we're doing a magic ring if you have problems with magic rings I have a little video that shows you how to do it in my tips and tricks I've got two little slip knots there one over the other to join them and again budge around to make room for you to put your hook back down for the third one one over the other you've got two slip knots join them together I'm going to go in this area if I want to I can stay in the loop if I want to it doesn't really matter one over the other and join and back through again one over the other and join and place that remaining loop here in the middle turn your loom around again I'm going to dig down and find those two bottom red bands and loop them up loop up loop up loop up and loop up take this off now I haven't tied it off I'm just taking it off my loom gently easing it so I don't stretch things too much you're going to just ease it into shape I mean you can just spread these evenly around like so and then take a single red band slide it through tie off in a slip knot like this and there is our little heart now you can hide this slip knot up the middle I would go through the center if you go through the center of these bands here so that you're not going poking out either side grab that little band and gently just pull it through now you don't want to pull it through so tightly that you make the bottom bit uh, disappear but gently pull it through and then you have this little loop at the back which you can just hide under some of these bands like so and there you have a little heart as I said you can just stretch these around spread these little loops that we made spread them around there we have a little love heart I hope you enjoy making them happy Valentine's